We're going to show you how to turn this wooden heart into a bird feeder heart. All right, so we had a technical malfunction while we were actually making the bird feeder glue, but it takes three quarters cup of flour, a half a cup of water, three tablespoons of corn syrup. You can use brown or clear. Clear is probably preferable, but all I have is brown. And one pack of plain Knox gelatin. And you're gonna to mix together the flour and water first, and it gets turns into like dough, like biscuit dough. And then you add the corn syrup and it gets a little more runny. And then you add the Knox gelatin last and mix again, and you end up with this glue-like thickness. And so we're gonna spread that on the wooden hearts. And then we're gonna add some cranberries and nuts and sunflower seeds. And what do you have to do with the cranberries, Violet? At first eat one. Eat one, that's right. So uh, we're gonna do that and we'll put it on time-lapse to let you watch us decorate. And then we'll get them out to the bird feeders. This is Bill's, this is Danielle's, and this one's Violet's. And on the back of mine is this. Wow, Violet did both sides of her. Just Bill and just Danielle just did one side. So we're gonna let these dry for a little bit. They're pretty dry. Uh, and then we will take them out to the bird feeder. We'll take one out for now, let them eat it, and then we'll take another one out until Valentine's Day. But you can do this with any shape for any holiday you want or just any occasion. It doesn't even have to be a holiday. So I think in March we'll probably do some shamrocks and maybe some uh, Easter eggs for Easter. We'll change it up. But uh, this was a fun craft for the kids and for the adults. Violet, did you have fun? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, well, we'll see you all next time. Be sure you like and subscribe. And I will put the recipe in the description for the glue. Take care.